Yes, sir. Yeah, from here, the bad instrumental, you don't know, so this is the streets, according to me, your boy Shells. Heard right here on the Bridge 99 FM, you know, you don't know the thing, go people. How you doing? I hope everybody's alright. I hope everybody will take care of themselves. You know, as always, you know, we have lots to discuss, you know, real issues, real conversations, and you don't know, of course, with some real people. Remember, you know, you can be a part of the conversation by reaching out to me on all social media platforms. Is even just find the Bridge 99 and just be like, yo, hashtag Shells Street, S H E L Z Street. If me attack foolishness, if you want to come slide tackle me, you can just find the Bridge 99 and say, hey, we need to chat to Shells, we need Shells to talk about this. Just find them, Zine, hashtag Shell Streets. But if the Bridge 99 make you nervous, if a social media guy, Andrew, make you nervous, <laughs> you can always say, yo, just reach me. You can just reach me uh, on, on my IG at every T I N G underscore Shelly. Everything Shelly. And you can slide talk to me there, just DM me with us. You can have a reason. You, you can't even fall in a studio. I will have vibes with me, nothing wrong with that. Zane? Anyways, oh, also. You know, Bridge Nation, you can also people a part of the Bridge Nation if you wish to be a bridge builder. Now, what's a bridge builder? I'm gonna tell you what I'm going I'm gonna think people quite understand the vibes of where I'm forward with. Bridge builders are the persons, even though you have a little business, a little product, or something, and you don't know, say the bridge or the bridge to the world. To the where? To the what? Alright. So, what you know? If you want to promote, promote the thing and just do business with us, you can contact our sales department at 876 669 5000. 876-669-5000. Don't message me for tell Kurt Riley for play that mixtape. You can just call Link the Sales Department. <laughs> 876-669-5000. Now, something interesting always happens. As I always say on every show, it's very difficult coming up with topics for, 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 for every show. Not because we don't know what we are talking about. It's that after we put the planning and, and vibration in, all of a sudden, our bag of topics pop up. So myself and my lovely team here at the bridge we decided to do something called you know like a shells trending topics type of thing you see me just in case you know when when, when we are fall up my ear my sister something happened just a while ago we can talk about it and go on like me know what i go on seeing so first and foremost oh that oh that sound go oh, oh, oh i saw the reggae boys too <laughs> easy yeah the reggae boys they survived <laughs> they survived that you don't know <laughs> Yeah, the match just concluded, isn't it? If you live under a rock, you don't know. Oh, yeah, alright, Shannon. Yeah, them not gonna work up, but still. You know what I mean? Hold on, them not gonna work up for real. It's over? All hopes dashed, no little playoff, nothing. That's it? Chano. Well, as we said, we survived. You see me? Um, if you missed it, guys, um, you know, we just played the United States at the National Stadium. It's a big deal. Um, I heard it was, you can correct me if I'm wrong, the anniversary of when we qualified the world cup right yeah today yeah so that's cool we survived on the day we, that's nice that's not bad you said we'll let down our answer <laughs> well one of the ancestors are the coach still so you know i don't know <laughs> but anyways you know was a, I, i'm not going to be a, i'm a real football fan and as a football fan i'm not going to really talk too much about how much i never really watch you know i'm tune in and out me here say me here say <laughs> me here say antonio score a, a, a wicked piece of goal you see me um, Christian Pulisic on my baller still. According to Red, it's a scream. Oh, yeah, according to Benji, it was a scream. So I'm need to check the highlights. But again, though, Mir said, as always, throughout the qualifiers, we let in a goal or whenever after let in. Mir says a defensive blunder. But, you know, we live and we learn. But, Mama, I know people should tap us, still tap out. Is hashtag tap out, hashtag tap out still a thing, seeing that we survived? I don't know. Uh, but I, what I believe, though, I feel like JFF, if I don't even hear me, Reggae boys, everybody who are fans of reggae boys, I think it's full time we stop celebrating um, media mediocrity. Um, yeah, we survive. I may I run, I we are run joke about it. <laughs> yes, and I mean, I really think I know we survived today, but we really should have win that much still. Um, if you really know anything about football, that is not even anywhere close to US's strongest team. Zine. So, <laughs> but anyways, you know, congrats. I guess you know. But speaking of good news, um. Just here, say we get new curfew hours. Yeah, you know the honourable prime minister, bro, got himself. You know, gave us another hour, so curfew now 9 p.m. That's good. You see what I'm going, people? If we just be with self, you know, think I don't know what normal is, but if we just be with self, you know. <laughs> yes, Shannon. Yes. 
<laughs> all right, all right. So Shannon is still quite, quite disgruntled. He's saying, you know, with SOEs and the curfew, might as well give a, a, a little leeway. So I get, probably, probably. But you know, the best thing, though, Benji, I may encourage all Bridge Nation for me and say so. The curfew orders, this new curfew orders, end December tenth. You know, it's December tenth, Bridge Nation. Hey, 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 he say. Hey, hey. <laughs> December 10th is my earth strong. So may I encourage our bridge nation, our bridge builders, everybody who are listening to the streets according to shirts. <laughs> Shout out to say going to be a lockdown there. Please, people, please. Please. Yes, me, let's just behave ourselves and just... I, I, in all seriousness, let's just continue to stay safe. Seen? Next topic. Oh, man. I just said I want to pop up. Uh, we see what we're going with, with the sister in Leela IK. We hear what we're going. Um, you know, social media users, you know, were left in a bit of a frenzy. A Sunday gone? Uh, really? I'm gonna say. Well, um, you know, they were left in a bit of a frenzy, you know, in a series of cryptic tweets. And you know, Instagram live video surfaced, you know, when Leela reveals uh, you know, she felt unsafe and you know was being blackmailed because of her sexuality. Now may I tell you something first off, Bridge Nation. If you don't know nothing about me, all are all of the team at Bridge 99 can tell you. She shells me mind my business, you know. Is it me? I said so when so the first thing thank you, Benji. So the first thing what did actually pop out at me was that everybody was focusing on the whole sexual orientation thing. When I did say that, I just said, all right. You see me, I said? You see me? But then when I when I did my own research, if you can say that, I'm going to see the things were going on. I can't really say still, you know. For those close to Leela, um, just go and be there for her. You see me, I said? Because I don't know about Uno, but when people's lives feel threatened, I know nothing for laugh about, I know nothing for joke about. So regardless of sexual orientation, you see me, I said? So please, Leela, if you hear this, Leela team, Leela family, that's, that's going on with the faith, isn't me? The music will always speak for itself. So go on with the strong sister. Now, whew, man, I have to let that out because you don't know really, 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 that's you know, Benji, a real thing. So for you, what she had got through, it's rough, isn't me? For somebody who's very private as well, isn't me? Anyways, let's get the show. I'm saying we can push on with the show, Zane. Now, oh, there's another one, Mobo. Not me knees. The first man I hear about this, I'm not going around it you see me, I'm not go around it. I mean, I know, I know, I live under a rock sometimes, but here we go on people. Dancehall and reggae artists, like, see there, like Leela Ike, eh? Popcorn, Sean Paul, Shensia, Sk- Skilly, Skilly Bang and Spice is set to, you know, is set to receive, you know, um, well, these are nominations, right? Yeah, for this year's title of Best Reggae Act at the Music of Black Origin Awards. Oh, that's what MOBA stands for. Okay. And that's all, and that's for their music for the year. So, yeah, but this makes sense still, because you really pre them nominees, yeah, them put in the work. Them really put in the work and wave the flag and the genre high overseas. You see me? So, enough respect. You see me? Um, uh, yeah, and me and sister, they must say, you know. Skilly Bang is nominated. Yeah. They say, oh, yeah, so. Yeah. Oh, Skilly get nominated for best. Oh, this international act. Oh, going up against hip hop chart toppers like. A lie, Drake. Yeah, I can't say Kanye, guys. It's not Kanye anymore. It's yay. Yeah. Get with it. Well, it's for oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so it's for the music as Kanye. Uh, true. A uh, true, Shannon. That makes sense. But yeah, Doja Cat. I love Doja. Lil Nas X, Megan Thee Stallion, amongst others. So, yo, Skilly. You see? Do your thing, Maji. That's nice. Awards are set for December. So, just look out for that, people, and show our strength. You see me? As I said, them people are putting the work and wear the flag high. Zing. But, anyways, tonight's topic. Is a very interesting one. The topic tonight is: Should paternity tests be compulsory at birth to help reduce this whole jacket vibration what we are seeing in our society? Ah, oh, jeez, Benji with the sound effects up. Wait, 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 you know, at birth, birth, you know, right? Uh, to help reduce this jacket pandemic. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no, everybody think easily, people. Um, no, honestly, I don't think it should be compulsory, you know, I tell you the truth. Um, what I do believe, however, is that it should be, you know, it should actually be an option that's presented to both parties involved, you know, and no, not right after birth in hospital when the woman. Bra, bra, out in it. Nah, come on, you see me? I said, we don't yeah. die, we don't die. <laughs> but perhaps it could be 
on a form that, you know, you know, you can sign a form, you know, both mother and the possible father would have to fill out, you see me? Or, you know, probably when when the sign, you know, when I'm assigned the child's birth certificate, you know, right before the meal offers his signature, you know, he should be presented with, with a choice of doing a paternity test, you know, before becoming obligated to take care of this child. That's just, that's just me, you know? Also, uh, I, I said allow the mother to present the... <laughs> <laughs> the eligible car yeah shut up hey hey we're getting into that but yo know, what, what i want to know what if it was you know mandatory what would the cost be like can people afford it i don't know you know these are just things that we have to kind of consider but then you know even though i have that perspective i have to sit on a meds yo why would people want it to be um mandatory you see me well i'm not yet a father you see me but um if you look at the mentality or your pre the mentality that a man develops after his child is born, it's 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 mind blowing. You understand what I'm saying? For men, when you see the new born for the first time, there's like this renewed sense of purpose. You see me? It's like an unbreakable level of determination. A renewed sense of pride. Oh, you don't know men and the pride thing or the ego thing in a going. You don't know, ladies don't know it go. So just imagine a man developing all of that mindset. You see me? Only to hear that the mother of the child intentionally lied to him. Lied about being the father of the child. What are the Benji? Not to mention if they're married. Zane? Or you already start raise the child as your own. So when you really pre like that, you have to say, you know, you know, I understand why, you know, in this case, are probably mostly men. I don't really know the stats who really for it or against it, but. You know, I can kind of understand why men would want this kind of safeguard against this type of manipulation or gallipulation in this case. But enough little calm, little converse, say a, a pop up. Me people are asking, you know, should women feel? <laughs> yes, yes, it's poor woman forward from him for follow the unruly thesaurus. We can't say certain words, you know what I mean? But anyways. Apart, when I read up on the discussion and thing, now, I see a lot of questions are pop up. One of them that struck me was like, should women feel disrespected if a man asks for a paternity test? Um, hear me as no? No disrespect. I'm going to try to not be as funny. Why? Hilarious with this. Um, It's quite simple, you know. If there's nothing to worry about, then it shouldn't be a problem. See me as I mean, Benji, that's the same protocol women have when they must search their man phone. So, I mean, I don't see why not. You see me as I'm just saying, if there's nothing to add, yeah. <laughs> Another thing I pop up was um, will the compost compost testing lessen the chance of domestic abuse? Um, all right, let me just get like a serious guy. It's a very touchy subject. Um, first and foremost, my heart goes out to anybody, you know, who's been affected by domestic violence. You understand what I'm saying? However, it must be said that I don't think it will lessen the chances of domestic violence, cause um. You can't really predict how a person, or in this case, a man, would react if he's told he's not the father of the child. Like, you just hear me mention the mindset where the man develop. You understand me? Me, I like hear a case where how this evil pop up in the first place is, is like US. When you go for like immigration thing and I go for them thing, they have to do the DNA test when you have filed for picking. I can imagine you have filed for this youth and then all of a sudden you hear say, no. Mm -mm. Yeah, so you, you, I don't know if it would lessen the, the domestic um, violence thing. Um, different strokes for different folks. Um, but yeah, that's just my vibration point. But in conclusion, right, in conclusion, this jacket business is 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 kinda getting out down. Me and said this well, many years say it's a fact. This are going long before enough people born. You get that? You see that? <laughs> so, you know, uh and, and I heard that the stats are beyond belief. It's like almost like the ultimate scam. You understand what I mean? Say personally, I would love to understand the mindset behind some of these women. You know, the women who come up with the decision to hide the truth from their partners. Of course, you don't know it's easy to say, yo, to find the negative reasons. You know, like, oh, yo, she gave him bun or, you know, she had tried trap him or whatever. But are there any reasonable reasons for a woman to lie about, you know, who the real father is? You know, that's something we really want. Or maybe some traumatic experience. I don't know. You know what I mean? But, um... The reality is, isn't me, when it comes to childbirth or affairs of ch the um, birth, I don't think men have many laws or, or measures to really protect them. You know what I mean? Apart from condoms, of course. But um, if I feel pre say, oh, we're pre in the affairs of an innocent being, a baby. And it's really important to me, I, you know, me feel already about this, that both parents play a part in his or her life. However... If a male is not the father of said child, I think he deserves the right 
to choose whether he sticks around or not. And Benji, you don't know the thing going on. You have someone out there play a hero, you know. You see me? I'm out there play a hero, you know, brother. You will say, yo, no matter what, stick with our, our, you know, help until we find the guy. Or, you know, this baby already touched my heart a certain way. I'm going to stick around. I have a man with say, yo, eh, eh, I'm out. So, yo, people, let me know on the feed about this topic. You see me? Should paternity test be compulsory at birth? You see me? Reach out to me on the Bridge99FM on Instagram. I let me know what I go on. But until then, it's a break. So forward. Yes, sir. Yeah, people from here, the bad instrumental, you don't know, so this is the streets according to me. Your boy Shells. I don't know, people were talking about the topic, reasoning about the topic. Should a paternity test be compulsory at birth to help reduce this whole jacket rate, which is a real thing, people? Now, now I could not do this topic. Do this reasoning we don't know without hearing from the streets. Me and the streets bad me up say a long time when I fall down the streets and talk to them. So people, we have some vox pops. So let me hear what the people have to say about this topic. Run it. DNA paternity test is very indeed important as it will reduce or stop this whole heap of spreading of all these jackets we're not so fitting. Them something so like man I watch too much Jerry Springer in but I understand why they want to make it mandatory still because boys, some want to put some youth on some man and not give them the father and then the real father doesn't even know so the youth exists so it's kind of wrong, it's wrong in our sense, not even kind of wrong I mean, if a girl like gave one and at the end of the day you choose to find out well, I just say it goes still, just take care of the next one youth To answer that question there, with what I go on in nowadays society and them female and my youth and this Jacket rate we have soared to new heights, but I don't know how I go on. Me feel like say them can mandate it for your time. You see me? Or just mandate it. You see me? Cause the world is better and we want to see some positivity in this. You see me? I think so. I think it would have a very effective um, result, especially the fact that it's reckless behavior. And the point of a jacket, in my opinion, or how I see it, is that people choose to make this decision because they don't want to take responsibility to their actions. Why are we even doing that to our partners in the first place? You know what I mean? We need to protect our men and we also really need to protect just the futures of people because when we have a child, it's a very, very permanent thing. Make it be a choice, not to be mandatory. Suppose a man now I know I say, yo, the youth and <laughs> the youth and a feed. You hear me I say? If you make people live their life, man, watch too much TV, too much excitement, yeah. So I believe it is a thing that should happen. I believe it, it's a step in the right direction. I don't know, it seemed kind of obvious to me, but if the man finds out the baby isn't his, he's going to feel deceived and then hurt the mother and the child anyway, either by abandoning them or actually hurting them. And then the biological father isn't there, so him not gonna help anyway. And then the next problem is, how much a paternity test even cost? A paternity test should be compulsory. Jacket them need father too, you know. Suppose a real father now want to take care of the baby. If a lot of things make it be, man. My gosh. Yeah, we have a love the bridge nation, though. We have a love the bridge nation. Very, very, very interesting points there. You see me? And um, some people say, oh, make it mandatory. Some say, oh, no, give people a choice. I love it. I love the vibration. I love that the discussion is happening. And um, it's amazing. But we're going to continue our reasoning here tonight. And I'm very excited, you know, to see that I have these lovely guests with me. Um, firstly, wow. For our Mrs. Patricia Duncan Sutherland, People Nas- People's National Party, Women's Movement President. When I heard that you'd be here, I just want to say first and foremost, thank you. And I'm really looking forward to some enlightenment because I feel like so far my perspective has been a bit mm, narrow, I guess, if you heard my monologue. So I'm looking forward to hearing a lot more. So thank you for being here. And thanks for having me. Yeah. I think we're going to have a nice discussion. This thank morning. you. I'm looking forward to Real it. Real reasoning. Yeah, man. I saw it for God. Also, yes. 
Amaziah, I hope I, I did his name justice. Amaziah, he's a poet, an editor, a writer. But correct me if I'm wrong, you know. One of your most important role, if not the most important, you're a father. So enough respect and thank you. Thank you for being here with me. Um Oh, um also I am say I'm saying I don't know if your mic unmuted. Yeah. Okay. Right, it wasn't cool. it, it wasn't on a while ago. I was right. just saying precisely, yes. Yeah, Father man. indeed and you're right with all of the things that we were just a while ago, writer, actor, um, artist, poet, yeah. the whole nine years. No creative respect. being, so to speak. No respect, man, and thank you for being here as well. Um, Mrs. Duncan Sutherland, let me just start quickly with with the obvious thing. Should a paternity test be mandated at birth? I don't, I don't think so. I think that the state doesn't have any business in people's mm. bedrooms. Mm. I mean, <laughs> if you choose a monogamous relationship, that's your choice. If you mm-hmm. choose a polygamous relationship, that's your choice. Mm-hmm. And how that works out for the two of you in your relationship and how you deal with your trust is between two persons in a bedroom. And the idea that it was put forward as a way to solve the issue of domestic violence yeah, I hated that is too. quite I never ridiculous. Yeah, I never because the that. issue of domestic violence is not that the woman has done something wrong. The issue of domestic violence is that the person who is committing violence or the man has done something wrong, the person who is committing the act of violence does mm-hmm. not understand how to control themselves mm-hmm. and how to manage themselves in a situation where they either feel betrayed mm-hmm. or feel angry. Right. Well, well, well said. I'm as I, same question to you. Um, your, your father, um, enough respect to you doing your thing. Um, would you have liked uh, a paternity test to be mandatory when, when your child was born? Well, I never had that reason because I don't know. Um, I, I had a partner who I trust so very much right. then. We're not together now, but I mm-hmm. never had an issue with her. But as it relates to how we see people in our society today, I would agree and say, yes, um, it should be you know, done because it, 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 it shows. Mm-hmm. In, in today's world, people are not so trustworthy and you know people be cheating here there and everywhere and at the end of the day a man would want to know if that child is his indeed mm-hmm. right so me support and say yes but, uh, well um my producers are asking though i'm as i would you would you would like it to be done right at the hospital though as soon as the, the baby is delivered you think that's ethical at the initial stage, whoa, mm-hmm. whenever did I look on it like that, so right at the hospital. But um, we still like go with the same thing when yeah. we say, yeah, yeah, because at the same time, you know, a one will feel comfortable in himself. You know, there are some men because for me, if if that was the case, not like me would I say, oh, me have done with the BR, me have just, you know, you know not try help take care of the child because it, it all depends upon what we had mm-hmm. or what we have. You get what I say? Mm-hmm. So some people will look upon the whole thing differently. Um it's the mindset of people how, how, their actions are triggered by, you know, them things. You right. get what I say? And sometimes it, it it can be a rather shocking situation. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, you know, me still I say yes, it, it should be done. Right. Uh, Mrs. Duncan Sutherland, um, I mentioned earlier in my monologue, and Amaziah Am- said it a-, a while ago in some of his points, where he said, you know, just in case, like, in a situation where the woman has done the man wrong, you know, you know, cheating or whatever the case may be, um, I, see your fa- I saw your face a while ago. What, what the, <laughs> the, question I, <laughs> the question I'm asking is, are there mm-hmm. any, I-, I mentioned it in my monologue, are there any... Uh, I wouldn't say positive, but a lot of the reasons have been negative as to why a woman would lie to her partner and stuff like that. Give the or maybe she didn't lie. Maybe she doesn't know. Oh, that's that's so that's what I want to know. Are there any reasons apart from the traditional? Oh, she give bun and all that stuff for you know reason for a woman to say you know what? Let me withhold this information. Or, or most times, I think they don't know. I don't think they um. In most cases, it might be purposeful but even if it is purposeful mm-hmm. let, let, let's just look at the statistics mm-hmm. but there 
the ratio of men to women in the world is one to one. Mm-hmm. So you see, if man I give born, <laughs> woman I give born. <laughs> Let's just be practical. So it's not a new situation where women mm-hmm. are give born. Mm-hmm. Man and woman are give born in all over the world from Tide Memorial. <laughs> You know what I'm yeah. This is not a new situation. Mm-hmm. So if you choose a monogamous relationship with your partner, as I choose with mine, right. I choose to trust. Mm-hmm. The minute I'm not trusting, I'm going to leave that relationship. Mm-hmm. So having that paternity test mandatory at birth is, is almost like saying, if a woman is not monogamous in a relationship, oh. and if there's the possibility of lack of monogamy, then something wrong with a woman. Mm. You know what mm. I mean? And I don't believe so. Mm. I don't believe it would equal to something wrong with a woman. Mm. If you as a man do not trust or you know that you have agreed to a polygamous relationship, because some people agree to polygamous relationships. Mm. Yeah. Right? They have some fancy words for it now. I may not even remember them. But all I, <laughs> because you look like you're in foreign, you might remember them because you are in foreign and you are a poet and you are an artist. Because you look a wrap up tight. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, me in New York. I'm really cool, even though me there inside. <laughs> so, <laughs> but but, but you know, going as, as I hear you, yeah. you know, elaborate on, on, on the topic. Um, yeah. I'm from the garrison community. I mean, can tell you, me not disrespect to get a girl, them, but me can tell you, say some of them do road. And when me, when me said do road, they mean them. From I, relationships. I just watched a TikTok with a young lady mm-hmm. talking about how the fact that she grew up as a girl who sleep around in our community, everything. And she don't know how other girls who used to do it, make them daughters come up to do it as well. Mm. So we know that those are not life, but it's not just in the community too, just so you know, mm-hmm. okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. It, it, we see it very here and everywhere, even in the States. Um, I have, I have, I even a short movie called Easter Bun. And it, <laughs> it, it really talks about me couldn't find the bun my and need my mom, but I could find it to give girl. And that girl take the same bun and I give her next man. While you don't know from me, me just could have find I'm getting ten thousand dollars for the month for the for the week, yeah. Mm. And every week when we get ten thousand dollars, we could have split it in a half, <laughs> thinking semi I do my best. And and that's what the short movie talks about. And me giving her my half, she did one more. Mm. She find a man who just gave her 10 grand one time and she just give it up to him. Mm. After that, now him can her and him canning her, him just disappear like smoking thin air. Then after mm. she him, 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 him gone, she move on to her next man. So yeah. sometimes this and, and that's it's not not just a show me just make me just you know talk about woman and mm. give bun. It talks about you know what people are going through in our everyday lives. And sometimes that female, mm. that female sometimes get confused. Mm. And sometimes, sometimes some of them spitefully, some of them know and decide, say, hey, me nah give him because he's not financially stable. But what about, the, so what about the man? What about the man in that situation who is also giving bond? Hey. Yeah, he might give bond, but at the end of the day, remember, you know, it's the female who going to get pregnant. Yes. So and? she should she should have made the, 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 the whole effort to make sure she protect herself because no, when so no 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 so when mm-hmm. man is having baby out there why the man not wearing a condom that's what I said when, when the man not when the man a, are, why are and you should really be wearing a condom because mm-hmm. diseases there it is so everybody Precisely. should be wearing a condom unless you're ready for a baby so so Mrs. But, 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 first so hold on allow me to interject so Mrs. Duncan Sutherland. Um, yes. Who is who is this proposed um, compulsory thing protecting? Because is it protecting men? I don't know. Because well, the not- idea was was to protect the woman from being beaten by the man. Because wow. then when them get the jacket, the mm. man them want to beat the woman. But not necessarily. That, not necessarily. Be- that that gonna protect them. That was the purpose of the proposal in Parliament. Yeah. Right. Wait, 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 what do you think, Amazel? Wait, what do you think? That was, it's true, what, though. That's why it was Morgan. proposed, though. So I just want to know who, is it, who, who, who is it protecting? Is it protecting just the man? Is it fair that it's only protecting the man and not, and just, I, ca- you know, casting I, I aspersions? I would not say just the women? man. I, I would say both, 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 because, I mean, it, 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 
everybody on them situation different and it, it both can hurt um emotional wise not just physical um perspective so i think both mm. but i think actually it would be if you're going to protect anybody mm-hmm. it more than likely is a child if there's an issue with paternity mm-hmm. with a child or mm-hmm. the child feeling betrayed because the child would be the only person right. in that case who would have had no control over the situation whatsoever yeah it's only a child. But I'm just saying to you, if I'm a child and I grow up and I know you as my father and you as my mother, I love you as my father yeah. and my mother. Mm-hmm. True. Right? true. Yeah, so true. that I, I'm not really looking for the DNA test. Mm. You understand? The DNA test only come into play now if I don't love you and or you have not looked after me and we have not developed a bond. And I say like, who is my, or I have not, mm. and no father has been named. Right for the perspective of the child. But when you come back to the man and the woman, the issue here is really a very misogynistic view that says that when a man cheats on a woman, it's okay. But when a woman cheats on a man, it's really terrible. Mm. And it's not true. Mm. I I think, I think also most of those cases is, is really a man and a woman, not in, in like, you know, Another yeah. bona fide relationship. Yeah. So, 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 some of them thing that occurs, and when a man or a woman thinks that you know, you know, me dead for this person, she did a liar will with me, or him did a liar will with me, and then at the end of the day, them find out the shocking news. You know, some people just don't know how to deal with it. Mm-hmm. When we are not in a, hey, <laughs> when my baby mother did left me, I'm a find out because we do 11 years and me swear say when we get called and information say yo you know say this one and that me say yo I can't trust my woman for going where in the world. Yeah. But and, and me that say me not understand how someone either want to kill themselves. Me yeah. not say me that go kill myself, <laughs> but me reach to the, the, the case which part me start think a bug of things. Yeah. And then every song will start playing on the radio. It's like a year it's life. About cheating yeah, and man. and it, it just start affect me. Mm-hmm. And me have to just, you know, find Boy. myself and just, you know, understand what it is. Um, the fact that I, I read a lot and I understood what if things mm-hmm. where life is concerned, me would not put myself in jeopardy, especially when Mr. said, you know, two of the most beautiful persons on earth Preach. were my kids. Me, I feel there for them. Preach. Uh, yeah. All right, hold and, on. Hold and on. she's the mother of your children and you once loved her. There it is. Yes, yes. Hold on. Yes. Let's just let's just pause right there. No, but you know what I Ms. think Mrs. Duncan Sutherland? Really Mrs. Duncan Sutherland? Yes. We're going Sorry. To take, we're yes. going, yeah, we'll just hold that thought. We're going to take a quick break. That's a quick break. People, no. the vibe, the vibe is nice. I'm here with Mrs. Patricia Duncan Sutherland, PNP Women's Movement President, and Amaziah, poet, editor, writer, and a strong father. We are reason both should, should, you know, um, um, paternity tests be mandated at birth. We're so far. We'll take a quick break. It's the bridge. 99 FM. Yep, yep, yep. Yes, sir. Yeah, people, you don't know, you know, from here, the bad instrument, I know that this is the streets according to me, your boy, Shells. And tonight, we are reasonable about the topic, you know, should a paternity test be mandated at birth to reduce this whole jacket vibration within our society? I'm joined by, I'm joined by the powerful and lovely Mrs. Patricia Duncan Sutherland, PMP Women's Movement President, and the general himself, Amaziah, poet, editor, writer, actor. The man is just a born creative. And the biggest creation he gets, you can say, is that yes. he's is his children. This is our father, you know? Um, Mrs. Duncan Sutherland, I, I cut you off when we were heading yeah. to break. You can just continue no. with your thought. Mm-hmm. No, I wanted to make a point because Amaziah made a big point. Mm-hmm. When he found out that his relationship was not going how he expected it to go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he found out his um, girl was cheating on him. Mm-hmm. And because of his own education and because of his own exposure, although he had a lot of terrible thoughts, even about himself, mm-hmm. he was able to overcome it. Right. The big issue that we have in Jamaica is that we have not really taught our children and our people how to relate to each other as man to woman, how mm-hmm. to respect each other, how to respect each other's 
choices, mm. even if they don't, even if they don't feel comfortable for us, even if it means that it feels like it's betraying us. We don't know how to resolve those issues. Mm -hmm. And so for me, the biggest thing we need in Jamaica right here is now we call state emergency with army <laughs> on the ground. We need an army of social workers on the ground. Mm. We need people in the communities reasoning with the young people in the school, the teenagers, talking to them about real things about relationships, mm -hmm. not just about you should only have one man or you should only have one woman, yeah. but what happens if you do not choose to? Mm -hmm. And what are the results of those choices? And what happens if you choose to? Mm -hmm. And then how do you help if you choose a monogamous relationship? How do you use what are the techniques you use to make sure you stay faithful, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. Mm -hmm. Teach people how to live good lives. I it agree. is possible. I agree. As it you is, mentioned that, um, yeah, yeah, as right. you mentioned that, and you said, you know, we need to have people on the ground. I think some of our entertainers are the responsibilities for the action of some of these people. Oh. And some of them say, you know, it's just a musical thing. It's but art, what yeah? we put out there as entertainment, you know, people absorb that. And then the action, you know, is triggered from that. So, you know, most of the contents them with them are produced and are put out now, it, 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 it talks about multiple sex partners. It talks about, you know, the whole... You, you hear them on the radio every day and mm. see them oh on even, even the YouTube. And, and I think most of our kids, especially now, because when we were younger, we never have much access to, you know, social media. Mm. And now everything depends on social media. So oh, really? the, now that people are not so educated as, as it relates to understanding life, and I think most of them ignorant, mm. it triggers these types of behavior. So, yeah. you know, it's, it's very important, as you mentioned, we should have people to, to, to talk to our youths. And, right. and, and that our we the and our older people too in the communities yep. because there are a lot of men and women who are getting very, you know, you, you talk about the transactional part of relationships. Yeah. That it has become so important now because people poor. Mm. So money, like all money, just like rise to the top. Mm -hmm. One time it used to rise to the top, how oh, you make me feel good. Mm -hmm. One time it used to rise to the top, how oh, boy, me like reason with you, me like go out with you, me and you like to, see, to do the same right. things. But now it's how much money you can give me. Mm -hmm. wow. Precisely. Precisely. And it wow. comes a more transactional thing, our relationships. Yep. I want to find a way to change that. Yeah, I, I completely agree. Now, uh, Mrs. Duncan Sutherland, um, let's just say this whole thing does get mandated, right? I'm I'm mm -hmm. definitely with you that it shouldn't be. I'm a, I'm not afraid to say that because I I'm a little young and thing, so when I have no youth and thing, but I just I I think okay. I would love to have the choice speak with my lady, you know, and them look a thing there. Well, let's say it gets mandated. When it comes to paternity testing, should a yeah. woman? you know, have a say. And what if she decides that she doesn't want her man to take a paternity test? Is that an issue? Well, if it's mandatory, she wouldn't have a choice. Yeah, I yeah. don't believe she should have to. But I also do believe if a man is named on a birth certificate there and he says, I do not believe I'm the father, mm. right? that he should have the option to do the DNA test. But that's an option mm -hmm. and that's his choice. Mm -hmm. Right. And he shouldn't have to go to court to get the DNA test done. He should be able to say, you know, I'm being named. I would like a DNA test before my name is put mm. on the birth certificate. Right. Now, I'm as I not make it mandatory. That would be his choice. Right. And then that is because of their own trust issues or whatever in their relationship. I agree. You know what I mean, uh, I'm as I so say they are foreign and thing. Explain to me how the cold and then vibration there. Now, this whole thing really pop up on my radar because I've heard, I never knew this, you see me, I never knew this, that when it came to like filing for youths, you know, Jamaica, we, we believe in a filing and them things that for family members and things. Yeah. I mean, I hear like, you know, it's true, so my reason my bridging them, I mean, say them hear stories like that where I threw the filing thing, them find out, say, after all these years, you know, this, this youth and a mine, you understand what I mean, sir? Um... How would that make you feel? How, how, what, what, what advice do you have to give to men in situations like that? And is it fair for the states to even have a rule? I mean, a for them country, don't get me wrong. But is it a fair assumption? Because let's say, you know, what, what, is, what is the process like? Because if it's not my child, can I still file? What's the filing? Is the filing process going to take longer? What's it, what's it like? I don't know if you know, but I'm just asking. 
Well, I have an idea about that. Sorry, but okay. after you answer. Okay, sure. Answer. Thank you. Well, well, well. I'll allow you to answer because the legal aspect of that I would not know. Right. We just come up here like two weeks ago, so right. we just a visit. And yeah. um, the the I have known persons mm -hmm. who, you know, decide. Another in this case, it wasn't the parent filing for the child. It was mm -hmm. like the child filing for. Okay. You know them, them father, right. and when everything got through, the money spent, the paperwork, the whole nine yards. At the end of the day, he was not her mm. dad, and it really sad. If you know, say all your life, you grew up thinking that, um, you know, this person was it was your father. What well, for, for me? Mm. If me look on you as my father, me still like to call him my daddy, but exactly. me still would have want the right. If you know, say mommy, what go on right there? So exactly. I mean, you, you need for explain something because mm -hmm. I would want to know my real dad. Right. They get to me and say, still will have respect for the person who fathered me. Right. Because you know really have to be biologically, you know, attached to me say yes, I'm still I call them a dad. Mm -hmm. So you know everybody deal with things differently, differently. but that's just my perspective. Uh, um Miss Duncan, um yeah, Sutherland, yeah. as you were saying. Yes, please. No man, no problem. I, I I was um the chair of the adoption board some time ago. Okay. So some cases came to me. Mm -hmm. The same issue where the, in the U.S. they are trying to migrate. Mm -hmm. They do the test and they get a negative a DNA test that says they're not the father. And in many cases, the fathers adopted the children so that they could carry them. Oh, okay, okay. okay. So, so it can solution. work through adoption. Okay. You could work it through adoption, and for those adoptions, we made sure that those went through very quickly mm -hmm. because those families wanted to stay together. There's also something I want to tell you right. that sometimes because the DNA test. Um, it was fairly new mm -hmm. and uh, it, there, there's a cheaper one and a more expensive one. Sometimes a cheaper one can be wrong. Mm. Oh, okay. Oh. And so you redo it and then you find out that it is right. Okay. So, so you have seen cases where the DNA test been done and it was incorrect? Correct. Okay. Mm. Yeah, okay. So, so, so hold on a second. Like, like it's a cheap kit, test kit. Kind okay, of okay. So, so hold on, no, no. That means so then you have some father who <laughs> them never really want my opinion in front of me or say, and I feel them, them just done with it. Yes. There's no, no, it's so the test could be redone. Yes. Oh. So, but you know, uh, the, that's why I said these are not things I don't believe that the state should be mandating. The state okay. should be, you understand? The state mm -hmm. must facilitate people living good together. The state must facilitate if they find out that something is um, not going right in their relationship, that they mm -hmm. can go and test it, but not to mandate that the paternity test must be done mm -hmm. and who is going to be named as a father. That's, you're getting into people's business now. No, no, I do, you know, clearly comprehend same. understanding more about this whole thing. Same, same. Because me just to look upon it from a, a perspective that, yeah, man, the man, if you know him, pick me, but, you know, understanding the whole, the whole nine years about it, now I get a clearer vision. Same, yeah, same. Yeah, man. And the truth is, if you want to prevent jackets, yeah, you have to, to get to that, man. Data, man, that women can only sleep with one man at a time. <laughs> and me want to know how you have a mandate that now. That, that, that cannot be mandated because <laughs> she still has a one man to date. Oh. That's correct. And then, then, and you could go to Ola, but you could go down to New Kingston, man with a vet. So mm. that can't mandate. All right. So, all right. No. Sometimes you have to stay out of people's business. That's not the state. I, I, you know, I really like how oh, you did start that, you know, Mrs. Duncan Salon. You really just kick off with that by saying the state should just stay out of people business in that regard because it's true it's really a family issue you know what i mean um because i know i'm okay uh, it's unfair to me and i'm going to ask a question now it's unfair of me who do have a child but you see that relationship i don't know me, you see me i have a, i have pets right and i know it's a weird thing but like when you see that baby even if it's not yours you know Wow, them ask me more DNA from a person. No, leave me alone. I'm just trying to relate here. What I'm trying to say <laughs> is, so, yeah, you know, I know you tried really through your pet. Yeah, not I'm, quite a good. Yeah, not, it's not a good analogy. <laughs> but <use>, really, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just saying, you know, what I mean, different shows for different folks. Um, but what yeah. I want to know is, for men in the society who, who's been a, affected by this jacket mentality, because it's, it's a lot. 
I know I don't know who is affected more. You know, is it the man or is it the child? Where where you know Or is it the woman? Or, there it is. Um well to talk to speak about the men who are affected by this mentality. Do you have any advice for them, Mrs. Duncan Sutherland? Listen, if you are in a relationship with a person, mm. as you had said, and I don't I'm not pronouncing your name right now, it's Abanaya. Amaziah. 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 Precisely. Right. <laughs> if you are in a relationship with your partner and you trust your partner, trust your partner, enjoy that relationship for the time that you do. Mm. And enjoy everything that comes out of that relationship. Mm. If you find reason to stop trusting your partner, know that you can't change, nothing changes the fact that what you had was something good between the two of you. Mm-hmm. Right? But then if you your trust is broken, it is now the time to move on. But mm-hmm. it doesn't change the fact that you have now grown to love your child, mm-hmm. whether you are this, the, and let me put it like this, the sperm donor for that child mm-hmm. or not. You are the father for that child. Mm-hmm. I have an adopted brother. Mm-hmm. Does he make me? Le- does he make it less my brother because the, the sperm that created him and the egg that created him is not my father or my mother's sperm and egg? It doesn't mm-hmm. make it any less. He do- he's not any less my brother. He's my full brother. We've mm-hmm. grown up together. We have all of our experiences together. We share our family moments together. We share our dreams together. It's the same for you as a man. Agreed. Amaziah, Amaziah, really yeah. to your reason, you see me? And even and you as well, Mrs. Duncan Sutherland, love the real street mentality and just the relatability. But Amaziah, I want to, uh, to tell the truth. We, we, I can tell you believe in the elevation of mindset for our people. Yes. Can we realistically elevate above this jacket mentality? It will, as... Duncan Sutherland said, we need to have people on the ground. It, it had to take some long and hard work to get this on a level where, where, where we can look past that because the mindset where the, the mindset level of the people now is somewhat deteriorating. And, and, and I think we need to start, you know, put it up just like, oh, all right, you see how them step up with the C9 seen commercial ever even in a foreigner it's like five minutes no past i'm gonna hear it mm-hmm. I, I saw we have to start you know educate our people about you know the importance of life and, mm-hmm. and and family the importance of relationships the importance of learning how to reason how to respect and how to trust right. um a partner and you hear me not come in with love yet because we have to start off with the rrt the reason the respect and the trust because if you can't reason I respect Naga did, and if you don't respect the person, you can't trust, trust the person. Sense. So mm-hmm. people have to just learn how to just practice truth from the initial stage. Mm-hmm. And that's just how me see it. Wow. Perfect, perfect. Hey, you you two to are, are you too young to remember the campaign? I'm pretty sure you are. Two is better than too many. Oh. Long ago in Jamaica, we thought that women were having too many children. Well, we were actually. Our population was growing too fast. And we did a campaign, mm. two is better than too many. And we yeah. put social workers on the ground. We put nurses on the ground to go and talk to people about, that is when them just introduced the first time we hear about, mm. um, what do you call it? Birth control. They oh. used to call it Pearl. Pearl was the brand. Okay. And at the time we had some condoms. The first time you hear about condom, I remember <laughs> what the condom did name. Right. But it was introduced and everybody was encouraged to use condoms and to take birth control. Mm-hmm. It was a very successful campaign. Mm-hmm. Right. It took about five years, but we changed the mindset about Jamaicans. And then Jamaicans started choosing when to have children. Well, that's a perfect note. And, I, you know, Mrs. Duncan Southern and Amazon, you know, the people in the streets are protesting and say, oh, we need to stretch out the show. I met the show a little longer because... I find it a pleasure learning from you guys and every guest who's been on the show so far. Thank you so much. Mrs. Before the show done, hold on, hold on before it <laughs> done. More so one quick look at poem as it relates to you know domestic violence and all no. these things because Very, we have to make it, let me know if we can you have do 30 it seconds. Quick. You have 30 seconds, Amazea. You can do it. 30 right seconds. Yeah. All right. Come on, sudden sulky because Roy always made her cry. 
He was too busy being a boisterous bully plus a sour, selfish guy. She was somewhat bewildered as tears rained from her weeping eyes. Her relationship was a smooth sailing, so she told him goodbye. He yelled, hey, if you ever leave, damn, you're gonna die. I'm the one who makes you and I'll break you, so go on if you wanna try. The nosy neighbor from next door shouted, somebody called police. She was by her usual spot at the same fence where she peeped. Mary was too busy taking a selfie to share a Facebook post. So let's start recording and viral shared it most. The preaching pastor came praying, but counsel never worked. Pam ran away hey. the following day when Rob was out for work. Hey. She led to found Dick who gave her firm attention. She enjoyed having sex, hey. but oops, no protection. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Few months later, she was pregnant the baby father was around. Her mind went googling, but Dick was never found. Billy shortly took her up and offered for her to be his bride. She was more than delighted and promised never to leave his side. He thought he was the baby's father. Happiness displayed evidently in his eyes. Billy felt silly when he found out he wasn't so and later commit suicide. Pam never had good education. She sold back juice to make ends meet. Few months after she gave birth, she was selling her body on the streets. Life journey get intricate. She prayed and said, oh God, I can't take no more. A year after she bought a car. So, hey, man, I'm gonna pray. Hey, it's on YouTube. Hey, people. hey, check people, out check out Amaziah, man. Yo, people, that yes, was, yes. you know, that has been I know you have made me a drop out on my cheer. Wow. Thank you. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mrs. Patricia Duncan Sutherland, PMP Women's Movement nice. President. Yeah. I'm a Zaya, big bad poet. No respect. Check yes, him out yes. on YouTube, Ms. people. Yes, Duncan Sutherland, no thanks respect. for being here among this, you know, lovely bridge. Yeah, man, no respect. No respect, shells, guys. No, big respect for Thank having you, me. Man. Big up all of the fans all across the globe. Abby Thank Abs, you. Van, Thank everybody you. from the British Nation. Close out. We have to close Spanish out. Spanish Town, Jamaica. Big up on the stuff. No respect. All right. Thank you. Enough love. Enough love. Always. Enough love. That has been a lovely, lovely show. This has been The Streets According to Me, Your Boy Shells. Enough love and respect. See you guys next week.